Hey there, this is Bill Judas with Armchair Arcade. This is a quick companion video to the full written review on Armchair Arcade. This is the Sane Sonic Wireless Backlit Mechanical Keyboard. The box is right here. It's the brand name is Ann, but it's sold by Sane Sonic on Amazon. I have the link in the written review. Uh, it's a 60% size uh, mechanical wireless backlit uh, keyboard. And you can see that the size versus what is already a compact uh, wired Bluetooth mechanical keyboard is re really small. It's essentially just the, the interior of this. Now, the neat thing about this keyboard is that it can be used both wired and wireless. It's a Bluetooth 4.0 uh, um, keyboard. It comes with a, a standard uh, micro USB um, cable, a keycap puller, and a little Bluetooth 4.0 uh, dongle just in case your computer doesn't have uh, Bluetooth built in. Now the one catch with this for me was the fact that I could not get it to talk to my Windows 10 uh, desktop or my uh, Surf Service Pro 3 uh, laptop over their built-in Bluetooth. Using the dongle didn't help either. So uh, what I had to do was I had to use my um, iPad Pro 9.7 and my iPhone and those worked. Uh, so, so this keyboard only worked for me over the wired uh, connection on my Windows 10 uh, computers. Uh, I've read other reports that other people have not had issues. I don't know what my issue is, but uh, you know, it didn't work unless I uh, plugged it in, which was kind of unfortunate. Uh, the app you can use on Android or iOS. And basically, uh, that allows you to change the uh, lighting effects. You're not really going to be able to, to uh, see it here, but uh, you know, there's rainbow lights, bre breathing lights. Uh, you you can program uh, 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 macros. Uh, you can upgrade the firmware all from the app. I don't know if there's a Windows or Mac uh, app, but I don't think so. So you'll need a uh, Android or iOS phone in, in order to monkey with the various uh, settings. You you can also of course change uh, brightness and lighting modes and whatever with the function key. The function key is also the modifier to uh, use all the keys that it's missing, like the the function keys and 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 page up, page down, and there are two, two sets of modified uh, cursor keys, WASD and IJKL, which again is just function and the key. So if you're, you know, obviously if you want a uh, 10 key, the number pad, or if you want dedicated cursor keys, this is not the, the keyboard for, for you. It's a nice size, it's very solid, it's well built. Um, it's a little uh, chunky, but that's okay be because uh, it doesn't have the uh, legs that a lot of keyboards have that prop it up, but that's okay be because you can see it's slightly um, angled. It has uh, mechanical blues, which is the same that, that my regular uh, key keyboard has. Uh, the number key, the letter keys and the number keys feel nice and solid. It's a really nice um, design. I'll let you hear it. Now the only thing is you'll, you know, I don't know if you heard it, but the uh, space key, the enter key, the shift key, the keys that are not uh, uh, numbers and letters are actually uh, a little hollow sounding and feeling, but that's not, not unusual, but uh, really the the premium feel is in the numbers and, and letters so this is really more of a typing keyboard and a decent uh, portable option 
than something you'll probably want to use as your daily driver, but that's up to you. So look for the full review on Armchair Arcade. I'll have the, the link in the uh, video notes. Take care.